New Balance, the Boston-based fashion label, debuted the 1906 in 2009, with the number in the model's name paying homage to the year that the brand was founded. Lauded for its versatility, the 1906 continues to make waves in the space of music, fashion, sports, and technology. What's up, y'all? It's Daniel the Chumalier. A few weeks ago, I reviewed the pink colorway of the Lunar New Year New Balance 1906. And in doing that and finding pictures and doing research, I came across this Angora colorway, which to me is way more wearable because of the white and the cream and the gray and all those hints of colors on the heel. And once I actually wore that 1906, it was super comfortable. It looked good on my feet and I think that New Balance may be having an ultra boost like year this year, 2024, with the 1906 and its various colorways and collabs. So today we are going to talk about this Angora colorway and how much I very much love this silhouette. The 1906 was reissued last year as the 1906R, melding the original 1906 upper with the midsole of the 860 V2. This Angora colorway features a more subtle appearance that's covered in a mostly white upper. It's put together with suede panels and technical mesh, where it's complete with splashes of blue, pink, alongside yellow pastel hues at the TPU cage and outsole. A debossed New Balance woven patch resides at the tongue with the contrast stitching details, along with the additional branding at the heel and rear make a statement. The energy and absorb cushioning offers optimal comfort, while the Activa light midsole and rubber outsole complete the remainder of the look. The New Balance 1906U Angora colorway retails for 160 US American dollars and can be found in various sizes amongst various websites. Now when it comes to fit, my foot's about a 9.25, but that shoe size does not exist. So depending on the brand and depending on the silhouette, I either go down to a size nine, hope that fits or remove the insole or go up to a nine and a half, hope that fits or insert a third party insole. In the majority and vast majority of New Balance silhouettes and colorways, I wear a size nine, which I consider to be my true to size. I don't like a lot of lockdown in the midfoot and I do like a lot of wiggle room in the toe box. And in this 1906 and in the previous 1906, I ordered a size nine, my true to size, and it fits comfortably and wonderfully. So I say whatever you wear normally in a 1906, just go ahead and do that because it fits right as rain. And when it comes to comfort, as I mentioned in the previous review, I was shocked at how comfortable this shoe felt on foot. The midsole has just the right of bounce and squish and cushion. It's not too soft and it's definitely not too firm. And the materials using the upper that sit upon your foot, very high quality, very high class. Honestly, I have found it hard to find a New Balance shoe that isn't well made, well constructed with, well, great materials. And yes, you are paying for that. But as I mentioned again, 160 US American dollars is cheaper than what you pay for an Ultra Boost by Adidas. And I gotta be honest, as much as I love the Ultra Boost, the craftsmanship and materials that come in this 1906R are far superior to the sock-like material and fit that you get with the Adidas. You're probably more paying for the technology of the Boost than you are for the upper. So I say, for the price value and the comfort and the look that you get, this shoe is well, well worth the 160 US American dollar price tag. Now, in that previous Lunar New Year pink review, I talked about how the laces were kind of oval laces, but they had this little like brr, 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 kind of look to it. These don't have it. These are straight, regular, old oval laces that are in that gray hue that match that gray, white, off-white, beige color that you have all along the upper. There are no alternate laces that come with the shoe. And in my previous review, I spoke about how the N had that nylon going through it. And I was like, I don't know really what it does for it. Had I done any research at all or actually read or looked at the pictures or the shoe a little closely, you can see that this nylon actually runs underneath to the lace eye stay or whatever you want to call it. It's the lace loop. So as someone said in the comment section, and thank you for that in uh, the previous video, because it's a running shoe, a technical runner shoe, you can tighten it so that it pulls the midfoot to give you a tighter fit. Now, I don't intend to wear these to run, so it'll be a nice loose fit, but it is good to know that one day I encounter a bear or a cheetah or a tiger, or maybe I get called on the field to uh, play for the uh, local sports team. Well, I can just tighten it up tighten up doo -doo 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 -doo. anyway um tighten it up and it'll tighten around so yeah that's great this is a beautiful looking shoe i said the same thing about that lunar new year pink colorway 
that is gonna be a hard shoe for certain people to pull off. I love it, I'm gonna be able to do it. This one definitely has a, I can wear this at any point because yes, you can match the blue, you can match the pink, you can match the chocolate brown, the lighter brown, um, the pink, it's hard to see. It's actually not brown, it's pink, um, but it looks brownish, it's reddish. <clears throat> the, the blue, the uh, yellow, as we see, and of course, all of the white, beige, gray. So a good shoe that you can pretty much wear year round. It's super comfortable, super well made. And <clears throat> I said this could be certainly a New Balance's ultra boost of the year. And I use that term to mean how there was a five to seven year period, maybe when ultra boost had a stranglehold, a chokehold, as the kids say, on sneaker culture, sneaker hype that has since died down very much so, which is fine. I don't care. Um, I thought that uh, 9060 <clears throat> was the ultra boost of New Balance last year, and it's still going to have a really good run. But if you look at the collaborations and the general release colorways of the 1906 that have come out and are yet to come out, the 1906 is going to have a year. This is going to be the year for New Balance of the 1906. I'm, I know I'm not the only one to say it, but it's going to be amazing. And I love the shoe. I love the way it feels. And if you're a fan of the channel, get used to seeing review videos of the shoe because I'm going to get a lot of them. Just like I got a lot of the 9060. I still love that shoe. A lot of people don't like it because it's too chunky when you look down on it and they don't like that alien type uh, Yeezy 500. Is that what it is? Kind of bulbous look on the uh, outsole and the midsole. If this doesn't have that, this might be it for you. The 1906. Go take a look. It's awesome. I love it. Let's talk about it in the comment section down below. Do you prefer this to the pink one? Maybe there's that yellow Lunar New Year. I'm seeing people refer to this as a Lunar New Year New Balance, but it's not everywhere and you don't see it in the, there's not the jade on the insole. So I'm confused. Is this a Lunar New Year, part of the Lunar New Year pack? I don't believe so. I believe so. Also, 1906U, 1906N, Amado, school us in the comment section down below about why some people call it the N and some people call it the U and why I'm confused. Let's talk about all of that in the comment section down below. So to all of you out there, wherever you are, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and just chill till the next episode.